So, Jean, I hear that uh, you visited the uh, Atmos enabled uh, cinema. We Where did, that? actually. We did. Uh, Dolby was nice enough to give my wife and I some tickets to go see Gravity. Awesome. Did you see Gravity? I haven't seen it yet. Interesting movie. Sandra Bullock. She's mm -hmm. pretty jacked up in it. She looked really good. Really? Awesome. But, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we did. We experienced Atmos, and it was... Uh, you know, they had the high channels. They weren't firing sure. speakers from the floor. They were actually firing right. from the ceiling like they should have been. <laughs> That's how you should be. And, uh, you know, my experience with that was it's pretty uh, it's pretty overwhelming. You get a lot of sound. You get um, you do definitely get the benefits of the height and the depth of that. You know, initially I felt like it was a little overdone. Mm -hmm. But that same thing happened when we listened to DTS for the first time in the home. The surround channels were always cranked right. up, always over accentuated. Kind of like you remember the Beatles records when they yeah. first when they first did stereo, it was like such an artificial stereo. So I think over time when when Atmos becomes more of an industry standard and not so much like the new kid on the block, mm -hmm. the film mixers will use the channels more intelligently. Uh, I see what you're saying. They won't do okay. it as gimmicky. The maturity, like, it, it, it will mature. Basically. Yeah, you remember like saying. like with 3D when like when the 3D movies came out, a lot of them were annoying. But then Avatar came out, and it was a totally different experience. Yes. yes the correct. 3D was inside the screen. It mm -hmm. was less less in your face and right. more of a. It was more to add dimension. Correct. To the, correct. To the experience. Mm -hmm. More dimension, more depth to the picture. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so I mean, Atmos in the cinema has some great potential. I think people are really digging it, and it'll be really interesting to see how it's adapted into the home and market and, and see how people embrace it. Yeah, I think it goes back to the point that I feel that in a properly set up home theater at home, where you properly put the high channels, I think you really can benefit from uh, Dolby Atmos. Now with the uh, Cybertronian speakers, <laughs> Um, I don't know about that. It remains to be seen. I haven't heard them, obviously. Yeah. But uh, I guess we'll see soon enough. All right. Well, cheer to that, man. <laughs> cheer to that.